So guys, welcome back to Seven Kids and Husbands. The Moors get fit. I am done losing fucking weight. Don't drop the F bomb. I am done losing freaking weight. Better. Mm -hmm. This shit is fucking terrible. <laughs> what? No, this shit is for the birds, man. Like, I'm done with all this counting calories and this got to go on my fitness pal and One this got to. This seems to be good. Can you at least cut the light? The hey, can you? Oh, I'll do it. Okay, as I was saying, I am done trying to lose weight. Like, counting every calorie that goes here, measuring every um, set that I do, measure like all this extra stuff, is making it, for me personally, I'm not talking about anybody else, but for me personally, it's making it too much hmm. to where you don't want to do it. Does that make sense? And I think for me to stick to this for the long haul, which is my life, I have to make it fit to the type of person that I am. Like, <clears throat> For the past week, I have been intuitively, I can't say that word, intuitively, li, 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 paying attention to um, how I eat and how much I eat. And I came to the realization that as long as I, I have two rules every day, work out and eat clean. Mm -hmm. And my idea of, eat, of eating clean is a plant-based diet. I think in my head, I can't. Like, not process-based diet, not processed plant-based diet. Because you could be on a processed vegan or plant-based diet and be unhealthy and fucking Skittles, Oreos, and Cheetos are fucking vegan. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about Cheetos. I heard that, but I'm not sure. But I know Oreos and Skittles are vegan. You can, you can eat all that all day and gain 10 pounds a week. So, I don't mean that. I mean vegetables cooked, fresh, healthy, healthy food. And that's what I've been doing for the, for the past week. And I feel good. Yesterday was it? I put on a shirt that I haven't put that I've been putting on for the past two years, but not been able to button up. And I was able to button it up to my surprise. My um, holster that I wear, I work for my weapon. That shit's fall, falling, falling down, and I had to adjust that. All my pants are too big. I worked out seven days this week, which is there's only seven days in a week. So I worked out every <laughs> every day of the week. I did my workout plan, no problems. I ate good six out of the seven days. Yesterday we went to the buffet. I'm not perfect, but I ate six days out of the um, week. And the one thing I'm the number one thing I'm proud of is I didn't jump on a scale every single day mm -hmm. like I used to do because that number on the scale is so controlling. It can it can it can kind of determine how your day goes. Like yeah, and then every day is. Kind of bullshit anyway, because sometimes you have more water in your body, mm -hmm. sometimes you didn't poop, mm -hmm. sometimes like weight switches anyway. And that's what I mean by saying that I'm done trying to lose weight. Like I am done making every day the focus is losing weight. I want my lifestyle to change and I'm focused on changing my lifestyle with eating healthy. I want to be a person who eats healthy. I want to be a person who works out. I want to be a person who can run around with Lorenzo when he's running all day and not tired. And once I lose the weight, then what? It's over with? I won? No, you still have to keep going. So I think it's for sure. Yeah, so I think it's much better if I focus on changing the habits that induce weight loss mm -hmm. instead of focusing in on the weight loss. Like I want the weight loss to be a side effect of me changing my life for the better. So that's that's what I, that's what I mean when I say I'm done with losing weight. Like I'm not focusing in on that scale on the number that number on the scale or this calorie, that calorie, this calorie. I just want to be able to normally eat and be able to control myself and eat without having to worry about if this is going to add more weight or if this is going to lose weight. I don't know if it's going to work. The first week is good. Like, I'm not going to give you guys a number of how much I lost. I know I feel better and that's all that matters. And as long as I do eat less, eat healthy, and work out, I know I'm going to lose weight. So I don't need to see it every single day. Hmm. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I want to talk about. You? I did that since we started. I don't really count calories. I'm just doing a whole lifestyle change, mm -hmm. getting more active, mm -hmm. and eating better. Not so much chocolate, more like broccoli. That's our cat trying to get out. And then I have weight day once a week. Beside that, I'm not stepping on no scale. And did you weigh yourself? Yeah, I lost one pound. 
That's good. Which I think I lost more, but then we went to the buffet yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And um, that was not my friend this morning. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much this, I guess this is a short video, but my whole purpose of this video was to say that I'm done being on that rabbit wheel or hamster wheel of just chasing the scale over and over and over because there's so many different ways you can focus your weight loss journey on to see positive actions or to see positive res results like clothes that fit better or fit at all now mm. at all or clothes that fit now or um how many times you worked out or how many or something else like how many times you know how many times this week i said no to unhealthy foods that two months ago i would have said sure no problem one of one of our daughters came home with Snickers. One of our daughters came came home with a bag full of candy, Snickers and chocolate and all this stuff, and it didn't bother me to say no. Like I wasn't like, oh my god, I said no. I just said no, thank you, and then I went on about my life. People at um work, like they always have this or that type of stuff. No, I don't want this. No, I don't want to order no food. No, I don't want a pizza. It's done with being able to say no to the unhealthy things that I would have said yes to. Two months mm -hmm. ago, it's also a big win for me. Or waking up 3.30 because I have morning shift. I, I have to be at work at 6. So waking up at 3 o'clock every morning. And the first thing I do is to drink a coffee and then go downstairs and do my workout. Whether that's running for three miles or that's lifting weights or that's stretching. Doing it every single day. That's a win. Of course. It is. Or staying on my plant-based diet for six out of the seven days of the week. That's a win for somebody who came eating bacon as a fucking dessert. That's a big yeah. win. So that's the number on the scale. Which I did weigh myself. I lost two pounds, but that's not important. The important is thing is that the things that I did to lose those two pounds, and that's what I want to focus on. You can tell us if you, what kind of diet you making and how you want to keep it. Yeah. What, like what, what are you doing? Just a diet, or are you changing your lifestyle? That would be interesting. So leave that comment below. Let us let us know how you're going about your weight loss journey. What type of diet are you on? Keto, low carb, high carb. Vegan, plant-based, caveman, I don't know, whatever diet you're on. And, no, we'll say that for next week. Next week, we're going to talk about workouts. But this week is about the diet. What diet are you on? And is this a diet that you can see yourself staying on? For once, the rest of your life. Yeah, once you reach your goals, is this a diet that you can stay on for the rest of your life? All right. So, thank you guys for watching our episode 7 of The Moors Get Fit. Um, don't forget to like, comment down below, like we said. Uh... Subscribe. Subscribe to us. We do good comment comments. We, That's do, <laughs> we have good quality. Subscribe to us. Go back and check out some of our other our other videos because we do weight not just weight loss journey. I'm talking to the people who came here for the weight for the weight loss videos. We do, we do challenges, we challenges, have vlogs. we do reactions, we have family vlogs. Traveling. We, we do a lot of traveling. Yeah. So leave us a like, comment, subscribe, go check out the other videos. And until next week, peace out.